Hi. Hi! Welcome back to Opening the Vault. Where we watch every Disney animated feature in chronological order. I'm Jarrett Sullivan. And I'm Jess Ayers. And this week we watch 1973's Robin, Robin Hood. Hood! This one I know very well. I know this one very well also. It came out with like special edition VHSs and stuff in the 90s when we were mm -hmm. growing up. So, we saw it a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I know I can blame this movie for my enjoyment of anthropomorphized animals in cartoons and the like, not in a weird way, in the Disney way. This could be arguably the first Disney movie that has zero humans in it. And I know what you're going to say, but Jess, there aren't any humans in Bambi. Yes. We don't actually see humans in Bambi, but they are mentioned. This is a movie made up entirely of animals, and there are no mentions of the existence of humans. So Aha. technically, this is the first Disney film with zero humans in it. Good to know. I'm excited to watch it again. Me too. Let's do it. Woo! It's Robin Hood I want! Walt Disney's Robin Hood. Oh, you so handsome. All right. We did it! Robin Hood! Yay. That Sly Fox. Ah, I still love it pretty yeah. much, just as much as I used to. It's very enjoyable. It is. It's a classic. Yeah, you've probably seen it. It has the storybook opening. Mm -hmm. we, with the book. With the book. We've seen it uh, in Snow White, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. So it's, it's we'll a, see it again, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's a trope Disney likes to use. It works. At the very beginning, the book opens up and the story is told. Uh, it's great. So that's cool. Interesting fact. Robin Hood premiered at Radio City Music Hall in New York City. Oh, wow. That's where the premiere was. Very I cool. Today. Robin Hood, like Aristocats, has an extended credit sequence mm -hmm. which showing the actors who play the characters. And it prominently displays the characters, unlike before. This is the first time you have the characters on the screen with their names. So you know who's who and who's playing what. And they just reuse cells from like the chase sequences and whatnot running across a blank background. It's kind of a charming way to introduce the characters and a first time that Disney's done that. So it's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Another interesting fact, when they were first coming up with the concept for all the characters, they originally were going to have the Sheriff of Nottingham be a goat. Another fun fact, Friar Tuck is a badger in the movie. Again, another thing I didn't know unless yeah, I would have told known you. That. Um, but he was originally supposed to be a pig, mm. and they thought that that might offend religious sensibilities. This one is very much cheaper animation. You can see the sketch marks. It's simpler. Robin Hood was first released. It did generally well with the critics. However, since it's been released, it hasn't fared well with critics every time they've re-released it. Yeah, I mean, the story is very simple. Uh, everything works out, of course, as right. you expect. So it's it's very much a family film and it has really no edge and not a lot of stress, but a lot of humor. Yeah, I think the edgiest part is when Piss gets put in the barrel of ale Yeah, <laughs> gets drunk. Piss gets drunk. I think it's still really great, but it's definitely not like, oh, wow, go watch this. It's, it's more of the, go watch it, it's really fun type of movie. Yeah. The kids in this, there's like the... Two older-ish rabbit children, the little rabbit girl and the turtle that are all friends. They very much act like children. Oh, yeah. They're it's obviously played by children. Played by children. They're animated like children, even though they're anthropomorphized animals and their behavior and kind of the way they are with the adults and in their lives. Super, like, real children. I was very impressed by that. Another fun fact, the Skippy, the little boy rabbit, and then the baby, like... I think her name's Tagalong Bunny is what they credit her in the credits. Uh, the two kids that played them are actually brother and sister. Cool. Fun fact. Fun fact. What I did not remember at all is how all the characters say Oodalowie all the time. Everybody. Robin, Prince John, the kids. It's the all-encompassing exclamation. Yeah. Zutalor. So at the tournament, Hiss gets put in a balloon... And he floats up in the air and uses his tail as a propeller to fly around, which, of course, is ridiculous, but also has a certain level of charm. However, the sound effect is obviously a person with a microphone. It is literally a person going... 
And I, I used to, <laughs> fun fact, I used to scooch around my house making that sound going, <laughs> pretending I was <laughs> in the balloon. A thing I really appreciate about Prince John is after the tournament when he actually has caught Robin, he doesn't just monologue forever or say, you know, send him to the dungeon, we're going to kill him tomorrow. He sentences him to immediate execution. Not that many Disney villains do that, and I was very impressed by him just wanting to go ahead and take care of business. My favorite side characters were always Maid Marian and Clucky. Or Lady Cluck. She's her lady in waiting, but they're like besties and they hang out all the time. And Lady Cluck is hilarious. Very funny. And fun fact Maid Marian and Clucky were played by the actresses that played Amelia and Abigail Goose in The Aristocats. And the actress who plays Clucky, it, her name is Carol Shelley. And if you look at her picture on IMDb, she looks like a bird. Like, it, this is not to be insulting at all. I think it's perfect and adorable that she plays cartoon birds. <laughs> Clucky has a whole fight sequence. She oh, has, yeah. There's, like, football sequence that's very reminiscent of the Goofy Sports oh, yeah, shorts. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. In addition to Maid Marian and Clucky being um, voiced by actresses we've heard before, our good friend Phil Harris comes back yep. as Little John, who's essentially... A grizzly bear version of Baloo. It could just be, and Baloo the bear as Little John. It really could. Another voice actor we hear is Pat Buttram. Hey. He's back. He's the sheriff of Nottingham this time. Yeah. After hearing him in Aristocats, I was like, I know he plays other characters and I know he plays villains, but I couldn't remember being intimidated by him. But now that we watched Robin Hood again, I was like, oh, I, I was a little scared of him, even though he has that kind of goofy voice. Mm -hmm. It's sort of in a threat. He does it in a threatening way. And I'm like, yeah. I don't like the Sheriff of Nottingham. <laughs> yeah. Well, Prince John is very British. Mm. And uh, Robin Hood is very British. But then Phil Harris obviously isn't as Little John. And then you have Pat Buttram as the Sheriff of Nottingham doing that Southern Alabama thing. There's a reason for that. There are four actors in this movie who were well known for doing American westerns. And the reason for that is they were cast before they decided to put the movie in medieval times. Aha. Uh -huh. So the movie was originally going to be Robin Hood in the Old West. There is a lot of recycled oh, yes. animation in this, in particular the dance sequence. Yes. The dance sequence is recycled animation cells from uh, Snow White. Snow White, the first one. Yeah, they recycled from Snow White. They recycled from the Aristocats. Yes, they do. Which we just watched. Uh-huh. Uh, they also recycled from the Jungle Book. Yep. I always loved this Robin Hood. He was always one of my favorites as a kid, and he is played by the late, wonderful Brian Bedford. Mm. We saw Brian Bedford in my favorite play. And one of my favorite plays. The Importance of Being Earnest. Which is hilarious. Amazing. <laughs> and he played Lady Bracknell. And he was so... So good. So good. I don't remember anyone else who was in that play because he was amazing. Yeah, and the best part was it was the only live performance I've ever seen where the like big actor that's in the live performance comes out and people clap for before he even like delivers a line. Like gave a little like aside to the audience. Sort of acknowledge, thank you for thank applauding you. me. Because then... he's, he's a legend and he's been around forever and... And here, there he was on Broadway, and it, oh, so great. So wonderful. This is a great one. If you haven't seen Robin Hood, see Robin Hood. The yep. animation's simpler, but there's not a lot of stress, so you don't have to really worry about it. Great Good. music. So, hey, if you enjoy this video, if you give it a like and a subscribe, that would be awesome. Be sure to go to our Facebook and Instagram and Twitter pages and check those out right over there. Did you watch this a lot as a kid, as much as we did, and does it have a special place in your heart? Let us know in the comments below. Next week, we're going to be watching The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And, as they say at the Disney parks, have, have a, a magical, magical day. day.